some water here. This is some water boiling. So I take my pot and I'm putting, depending on the number of people who are eating the sadza, in this case, with there are two of us. So I just put um, two scoops of mealy meal in the pot. Two scoops of mealy meal. And then you, you see how the mealy meal looks like. That's how the mealy meal looks like. Made from maize. It's ground maize. It's corn in the US. So I take a wooden spoon. I'm using this wooden spoon here. And I, I put some cold water. I put some cold water to, to make a paste with cold water like that. And then when I've mixed it with cold water like that, I'm going to put some boiling water now. I'm going to put some boiling water. Yeah. So approximately how much water did you put in? Half, half of the pot, half water. Just in my pot, a liter of water. I said this is for two people. So, yeah. So after, after putting hot water like this, you stay a bit and make sure there are no lumps. Make sure there are no lumps in the when you mix the with the boiling water. Make sure there are no lumps. Because lumpy sadza is not nice. It's not so nice to have lumpy sadza. So you leave it to seem on medium heat. It's on medium heat. Uh, you leave it to simmer, to quiet, I don't know what to call it, to simmer, and then for 15 minutes. And then after that, I'll come and thicken it, and then it will be ready to eat. After 15 minutes, you, I'll come back and thicken it further. You, you take the, let me, the last part, I leave it. So after 15 minutes, I'm now taking, I'm putting more, more meat in your mouth, and then I'll take it. I'm using some spoon. Make, making sure that there are no lumps still. You want to break all the lumps. What's the difference between it and porridge? The salsa is thicker. If it was porridge, I would have just left it as it was, without adding more medium. I would have left it as, as it was. And then you can add whatever you want, either peanut butter or margarine. Into the, into the porridge. porridge. Mm -hmm. So, but for salsa, there's nothing you add. For salsa, there's nothing I add. It's just um, uh, water and milling. Just water and milling. In other countries, in Africa, however, they add all kinds of things in there. Um, they might even mix it with meat. 
cooked meat. Put meat in there. Yes. <laughs> I know rice. Rice is the one you can mix with. So after making sure that is thick enough and that there are no more lumps. Mix well to make sure that there are no lumps, no more lumps, and that is the thickness. Normally, the thickness we make it to because we use our hands to eat salt, so we make it thick enough to to be able to to hold it in your hand as you eat. If you leave it too water, you won't be able to to make a a bowl of salt. So, so when I've made sure that there are no lumps and that it's thick to the consistency that I want, I just uh, let it simmer, reduce heat here, put it on low heat, and then let it simmer for about. Uh, a minute to five minutes let it simmer and then it's ready to, to eat you can eat it with whatever relish you want meat vegetables in our case we are using eggs today eggs the eggs will be the relish because uh, uncle jeff loves salsa and eggs so yeah I wash my hands. And um, the way we eat it is that's why she was saying the thickness determines. So this is then whether it's um, vegetables, could be meat, or anything um, you decide to eat. Your sadza, S A D Z A. That sadza, cornmeal. Yeah, and you have your lunch or supper. Uh, Kudzi is eating sadza with a different uh, relish. That's uh, this meat, vegetables. That's beef, vegetables, and sadza. <laughs> 